Are you thinking about moving to Florida, maybe Palm Beach Gardens, and you want new development? Well, I'm touring Avondale at Avenir today, so stick around. What's up everybody, it's April Laura, your Florida Realtor, right here in Avenir, and we are touring Avondale. I was here with some of my clients just the other day and thought, wow, this is great value and I really need to bring it to my YouTube audience, so here we are. Avondale is located in Palm Beach Gardens, and if this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know everything there is about working, eating, sleeping, playing, and living in Florida, and maybe even in Palm Beach Gardens, then make sure you tap that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. My team and I help people move every single day and we absolutely love it. We get calls, text messages, and emails, and we love helping people relocate here. But we can't do that unless you give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, somehow get in touch with us because we've got your back when you're moving to Florida. Now let's go check out these awesome models. All right, so today we are at Avondale in Avenir, which Avenir is a huge development. It's one of the newer developments in Palm Beach Gardens. It is located a little west because again, land is rare in South Florida. But we are here checking out Avondale, which is one of the more reasonably priced developments in Avenir. The only other one that compares to it is a 55 plus, but this one is all ages. So I was just here with some clients and thought it did have some really great value. And I thought, let me bring it to my YouTube subscribers to see if this might be a good fit for you. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. So in Avondale, it is actually built by Devosta Pulte. So Pulte, I believe, is the parent company and Devosta is the developer. They've done several different developments in South Florida. I actually have seen some of these models in other developments, so I am somewhat familiar. I know some of the salespeople very well. They've been around for a really long time. So some really great models that we're gonna be seeing today. Some specifics that I want to point out to you is that there's about 11 different homes to choose from. And they do have two different sections. One is the classic section, so specific models will go on that in that section, and there's five to choose from. And then they have the estates section or series where you know specific models will go on those lots. And the classic section, the lots are gonna be 50 by 130, and then also 70 by 130 for the estate series. A couple of things that make this Avondale unique is that they don't want the homes to be really close together. So you'll see that in some of the touring that I do today. There is a specific amount of space that they do build upon as far as between homes so that you don't feel like you're right on top of your neighbor. And I do hear that a lot from people that are relocating here. Again, we do have shortage of land because we've been developing for so long and developers usually put as many homes as possible on the land sites, creating kind of a, you know, closer to your neighbor type of effect than some people would prefer. So this might be a good fit for you. The homes run from two bedroom to probably about five-ish bedrooms and they usually have variations in adding of another bedroom or creating another bedroom and or creating from a half bath to a full bath, which is really nice when you have a pool home because you can have a full bath where a half bath existed, hopefully closer to the back or the rear of the home where people can easily come in and use the bathroom from the outside or pool area and not getting everything all wet. So the prices in the classic series just for the base home, not including any lots, are in the low 600s, so 626,990 is the first one all the way up to about 744,990. Now, of course, these prices can and will change at any point, but today, mid-February 2023, this is where we're at. Estate series, the prices start at 787,990 and they go up to about 978,990. So just under a million on the base of the home. Now let's get into some of the lot pricing. So the lot pricing, that of course depends on whether it's a water lot or a dry lot, dry lot meaning no lake view or anything like that. Actually, there's some on here that are from 12,000 there's some 55,000, 50,000, 30,000, all the way up to, 
I see about 160,000. There's some at 20,000. So it ranges and obviously, if you're on the lake, is it a shorter view? Is it a partial view? Is it a long view? I would like to see it. If you're on a dry lot, is it a berm where you're not gonna have anything else behind you besides like some planted trees, a, a little berm, and maybe there's a road behind you, or maybe not? Or are you gonna have a house behind you? So that's the fluctuation in the lots. And that's very common in Florida where you buy the base house and then you have to purchase the lot. So make sure that you are calculating all of these numbers. And of course that does not include any options. That's gonna depend on whether you have to have specific options, maybe, you know, larger or longer cabinets or not the base cabinets. You want like an upgraded cabinet. It all depends. Maybe there's a color scheme that you prefer that's not in the base selections. Maybe you prefer to have tile in the bedrooms instead of carpet, or maybe you just want an upgraded carpet where it's a low profile carpet and they have just a regular carpet for base. So all those things are also gonna be calculated on top of that base price. Now, getting into the HOA fees, this is something that you really need to know about. The HOA, of course, is going to cover a beautiful clubhouse with event space that you can rent out, also a resort style pool, which is very common with these master plan communities. That's gonna be basically for Avenir, the entire development, right? Of course, a tot lot and kids space. They're gonna have the pool that I mentioned with lap lanes, outdoor dining areas. There's gonna be a dog park and for all of our furry friends. And then there's gonna be also a cafe and catering kitchen, tennis courts, pickleball courts, and a state-of-the-art fitness center, which is awesome because with group fitness, so you may not have to have a gym membership. It also includes lawn maintenance of your home, right? So that's not that common. A lot of new developments will do the outside of the home or the front in the common areas, but not the back. And here at Avondale, it does include the common areas, individual lot, mulch, and landscape. Also common irrigation. Homeowners are responsible to irrigate their own lots with potable water like lakes and banks if applicable. And then professional management of the HOA and street lights and limited vehicle access control. There's gonna be an, a virtual gate, not a manned gate. That is gonna cost $308.10 a month. Then you have the Master Avenir Association, which is $15 a year. And that's, I believe that was for documents, she said. And then there is a capital one-time contribution when you buy here for $1,000. So you have to purchase that. Now, something else that I definitely wanted to bring to your attention is that Avenir and Avondale does have a CDD. And not every new development has it. From what I've always been told is either the developer builds it into the cost of the home, bringing your you know base price higher, or they pass it on to the homeowners that buy in there in a bond, which comes out of your taxes. And let me explain a little bit further. Depending on the pod that you end up in, there's two, three different pods. Pod six, I believe is the classic. Pod eight, I believe is the estates. And then pod seven is a pod that has not been opened up yet because they're a new development. So they range between $3,064 to $3,296, and that is paid yearly, okay, for I think 30 years. So that's for operations and maintenance, and that's equivalent to between $2,332.94 for each pod. So in total, depending on the pod that you are going to be living in, you're gonna have an annual amount of about, let's just say 5,400 to over 5,600 per year. So that CDD fee can be paid off early. And if you do that, Palm Beach County will give you a discount and you can pay it at a third of the price, which is a significant price. So let's just say pod six, which is $3,064 a year. If you add that up for 30 years, it's almost $92,000. Okay, but you're paying it annually. If you choose to pay it off early, it will be about $30,000. Okay, that's just in pod six. So you get a significant discount, but you're paying that off. So they say if you're gonna keep the house for at least 10 years, it is definitely worth paying it off. But if not, you just pass that on to the next homeowner because again, the CDD is for 30 years. The operations and maintenance cost never goes away. Why are you so high maintenance? So that $2,332.94 is going to be charged annually through your taxes on every house 
that lives here. Keep that in mind. That is something that you definitely need to incorporate into the cost of buying a home here. Now, I think what we should do is go check out some of these great models. So in this model, they actually have added that fourth bathroom, which is right over here when you're going towards the master, but more importantly, it is a cabana bath. That's what we call it in Florida because you have access to the pool area and when people are getting out of the pool and they're all wet and dripping with water, they don't come into your house and you know have water all over the floor. So this is really convenient and it's a full-size bathroom as you can see. Really nice master in this home. And then they've done a little bit different of a master or primary bathroom where you have this wall with a couple of um, windows to walk into your shower. It's not all glass, which is a little bit different than a lot of the newer development types of construction that I've seen. Really nice, really large walk-in closet for two people. Now the third bedroom is gonna be completely on the other side. So you have a three-way split in this home. And although it's not en suite, this is your third bathroom and also your bathroom for your guests. And then the laundry room, is right here, nice size, and also entry to the garage. So I love this feature that DeBosta um, builds in their homes. I've actually, in other areas in Florida, with this type of uh, indoor-outdoor retractable. Okay, so this whole corner is retractable. You may have seen it in an older video of mine, but you don't find this very often where the entire corner opens up. This goes back even further. And in the cooler months, you can actually really enjoy that indoor, outdoor uh, California. Next one is a prestige model. Let's go see what this has to offer. Really pretty. Um, the, the prestige model is a two to three bedroom, two and a half bath. The air conditioned square footage is from 2080 to 2114. When you walk in, you have, uh, looks like two bedrooms. On the left hand side, this is a huge mirror. You get lots of natural light coming in. High ceilings. These look like they're probably around 10 feet. I'd have to ask though. And then um, your shared bathroom. And also this has a half bath. So this is your second bedroom. Smaller window, it, sound, it feels a tiny bit smaller, but not bad. And 
then on the right hand side when you come in is going to be your guest bathroom access to the garage and your laundry area nice long laundry area enough space for cabinets you can add some more cabinets if you needed to this is a very unique feature that i will show you when we get to the other side of this door your ac handler is right here and then you walk into a great area so these cabinets are going to be more of um, your standard cabinets I like this uh, model to show my clients because you are gonna see more standard features. But you still have a nice large island sitting at least four and then uh, space for your breakfast area. You can make it more formal, less formal, your living area. And then your master bedroom is completely on the other side of the house so you will have privacy Overlooks, of course, the backyard or, and or pool if you decide to put one in. And then your primary bathroom and closet. What I really like about these models is that they have these retractable high grade impact glass doors and it opens up to the lanai area. So these lots are nice and deep here at Avondale, which is a great feature. And they also have more room in between home sites. Now, although this is the model row, um, depending on which lot you choose, you're gonna have anywhere between 10 to 15 feet between your neighbor. And they did that purposely. Um, Sometimes you find with the newer developments that your homes are very close together. I get that complaint a lot from people that are moving here. So if that's a big pet peeve of yours, we can take a look at Avondale and see if that's something that you may like. Um, it's not a zero lot line and they have actually shortened and uh, made the footprint of the house smaller so that you will have more yard space. So again, if that is important to you, then it's something that we might wanna check out. All right, so the next one we are at is the Riverwalk. And I gotta say, the weather here in South Florida has been amazing. It is winter time, so you can see it's a little cloudy today, but it's breezy, it's really nice. And um, they have developed a lot of green space here and lots of lakes to walk around. So you will definitely enjoy the South Florida lifestyle if you're living in Avondale. Um, the Riverwalk has four bedrooms and two and a half to three and a half baths and the living square footage, which is everything under air, is between $26.79 and $27.04. Let's go check it out. Now this one does have like a tiny little covered area. And I know this model very well. They've actually um, built this model in another development that um, was further south um, in the Lake Worth area at the fields. So I actually have uh, clients that have bought this model. This is flex space, so great space for an office, maybe a playroom, hobby room, what have you. And then right off of you know the front door in the flex space is your half bath. And then this opens up to a great area overlooking the kitchen, dining. Really cute. And then they have this like kind of separated area where you could build out a little desk space over here. Um, obviously this is added on, but you can do whatever you'd like in this area. Um, so let me know in the comments below, do you like this area? There's like a cutout here. Is it, you know, is it a good flow plan? What do you think? I kind of like this kitchen. It's right off of the garage area. And they have built out a little mud room and this is uh, your pantry. Let's go check out the outside. 
Again, the retractable, retractable sliders, impact glass. And this one has an enclosure, a pool enclosure. The modern screen enclosures, I've noticed that the back wall here is um, not as obtrusive, intrusive or obtrusive with all of the um, framework, right? So the older style used to have a lot of seams that you could see and now they have these like really wide, uh, open, screened in areas where you can kind of see it through to the outside, which is really nice. But some people like a screen enclosure and some people don't. Um, it's definitely good for keeping all of the bugs and all of the leaves and things like that out of your pool, but it's a little bit obstructive, I think, to your views, so. And it definitely changes the look of the outside, so um, it's just a preference thing, depending on whether you like that or not. Some people insist on it because they definitely don't want anything in their pool, although things get in your pool anyways. Um, and then some people just don't like it at all and want to have just that open feeling when they go outside. Let's check out, out the upstairs. Now this carpet is going to be standard carpet that will come with a, with a home if you don't um, want to install any type of other flooring. When you come upstairs you do have this little landing pad area and a closet so you can use that also maybe for an office area or what have you. And then to the left is your primary suite. You have a corner window over there, which is nice. Brings lots of light in. And then again, we're seeing the same type of shower area with the wall, walk-in, double sinks. These cabinets are definitely upgraded. Private water closet and primary closet. And the other bedrooms are gonna be on the other side. Here you do have your laundry on the second floor, which is convenient because most of your laundry is gonna be where your rooms are, right? Now you have one bedroom here, lots of light, lots of windows, three windows in there. Your bathroom. And then another bathroom. And then your third bedroom. And then fourth bedroom. So this is a house for, you know, somebody that needs a lot of bedrooms or has a lot of people. The bedrooms aren't huge, but it does allow you to have, you know, a private bedroom depending on how many people are in your family. Okay, the next model we have here is the Reverence, and that is a three bedroom, two and a half to three baths, depending on what you choose. And then the AC, the living square footage, is anywhere between 2669 and 2867. Let's go check it out. This is a one story home. When you walk in, you have a flex space to the right. And then on the other side of the foyer, you have another bedroom here that is en suite and has its own bathroom. Actually, it, that's right, this is the one that has the Jack and Jill, which is, this is a little bit uh, unique type of um, Jack and Jill bathroom where it does have pocket doors on either side, right? So you have your um, sink area, and then there's a shared um, tub and toilet. Then you have another pocket door, right, for privacy in this sink area that leads into the other bedroom. So instead of the two rooms being joined in the front with the bathroom shared, it's kind of a Jack and Jill. So then, once you come out of the foyer and the bedroom area, then you have this grand space for a really nice large kitchen. Really pretty kitchen, I love this kitchen. Um, gorgeous, well, these are of course selections and options, but the nice gray and also the 
really deep, dark, navy blue island. This is a huge island, very pretty. I've noticed that they do have like nice large islands in their um, models and in the homes that they've developed, designed. This is gonna be your walk-in pantry. That's a huge pantry, garage area. This one also has a little bit of uh, a golf cart garage, so that's kind of cool to, this is definitely gonna be like a golf karting type of community. So you have a two car garage plus a golf cart garage. And then this leads to the laundry area and also to the master, which I'm not gonna walk this way, we're gonna go the other way, but I kind of just wanted to show you. So this is a really nice, this is the largest living area I've seen so far in the models. Lots of light and brightness coming through, and these are definitely taller ceilings. Let's go check out the primary bedroom. Now this I know is, a, this is where the added bathroom is. This would normally be a half bath, but again, great place to put a cabana bath. Has access to the outdoors and definitely needed if you have a pool, you don't want people you know, coming through your house with wet, wet bodies and wet feet. Um, and this leads right into the primary bedroom. Wake up and have great views of the outdoors. Now this one is the first one I've seen with a shower and tub combination. And of course, a really great space to create your primary closet area. Now, do you like the fact that the laundry room is off of the primary and it goes all the way through? So you can have it private, close the door, and you know you have that hallway to your primary, but, um, and it also kind of walks through. I kind of like this because how many times have you gone into your car and you forgot something and it's in your bedroom? <laughs> so you would have easy access from the garage straight to your bedroom to get whatever you need um, and or into the kitchen. So it's not a bad, design but what do you think do you think uh, you'd like that or do you think it's a flaw let me know in the comments but in order to find that perfect place that you may be thinking of or wanting to go see make sure you give us a call send us a text shoot us an email somehow get in touch with us because we've got your back when you're moving to florida and until next video i'll catch you later Let me do that one more time. Don't stop it. But in order to find this can be paid off, it, they turned this one, this, I'm sorry. You got